My name is Kevin Connolly, and I'm the author of Double Take, a memoir which comes out October 13th nationwide from Harper Studio. The book is about me growing up as a rural Montana kid, born without legs, who is forced to really adapt to his environment and surroundings that aren't necessarily suited for a no-legged kid. The other part of the book is about my travels around the world, in which I went to try and document the reactions that people had to a legless guy rolling around um, in a photo project entitled The Rolling Exhibition. So that's, that's basically the, the material of the book, and I gotta say, we just got our first hardcovers in, and they look pretty good. Not only has this thing been getting great reviews, but the stuff inside is also quite cool, with photos from the rolling exhibition between each chapter. Now, this thing retails for about $19.99 at most booksellers across the country. However, there's another option available for Double Take, which is the ebook, which retails for about $9.99. Now, being a first-time author, I didn't really have the budget to spend on a Kindle or an iPhone or any of the other e-readers out there. I really only had about $19.99 to spend on the whole setup. So, after I spent my $9.99 getting my e-book, I got another $10.01 to spend on the rest of my gear to read it with. And so this guy sold me this computer for only $10. So what follows is a user hardware review between the e-book of Double Take and the printed text. Test 1. Readability. The readability of each device was highly important to me. Not only did I want something that could be read under a variety of lighting conditions, but one that also had a unique user interface and design. The printed text scored low on this test, as the basic operating software had not had a substantial upgrade since the Gutenberg OS in 1439. In contrast, the ebook had a luminescent display that was colorful, engaging, and most importantly could be read under a variety of lighting conditions, much unlike the book. As an added bonus, I found that my ebook reader generated a significant amount of heat, which can be a real luxury during those cold, late night reads. Test 2 Portability. Initially, I really enjoyed the build and design of my ebook reader. The weight of the device made it feel solid in my arms and gave me the impression that it was worth more than its $10 price tag. However, trying to pack it anywhere left me wishing for a lighter, more ergonomic device. My big issue with the ebook reader, however, is its display containing lead, mercury, phosphorus, and a vacuum that can cause the device to literally implode if the screen is damaged enough, it had me sweating during some of our more rugged field tests. The printed text version of my book definitely made up for some lost ground on this test. Weight was minimal, and I found that its lack of size and complexity allowed for easy reading while on my board. Good job, printed text. And now for the final test, durability. Now, as you saw earlier, I ride a skateboard, and I like to ride it in various countries around the world, so I'm particularly tough on my gear, which was a big factor when deciding between old ebook here or the printed word. Now, from our previous tests, I already banged this thing up pretty good, but even despite the abuse, it's still as good as the day I wrote it. Now, unfortunately with this thing, well, maybe I didn't give ebooks the fair shake that they deserve, but I shouldn't even be facilitating this interview. I mean, I wrote the book, and I think it's awesome. But seriously, I mean, if, if you're more keen on the ebooks, or you'd rather a copy of the printed text, I hope you show up October 13th for a copy.